Bye, sisters. sisters. This morning, I woke up as James Charles, so I am now excited to announce I'm a billionaire makeup mogul who wears assless chaps. Today, I'll be eating, dressing, and doing my makeup like James Charles. I woke up at 8 a.m. with my makeup perfectly done and ready to start some drama. My assistant brought me my pink drink and pumpkin bread. I don't cook, I don't clean. Whose channel do you think you're watching? Blair Walnuts? Ew, what a peasant. Okay, so this is the European version of the pink drink. It looks a little clumpy, lumpy, dumpy. Frumpy. Mmm. <laughs> also, they didn't have pumpkin bread because this is Starbucks EU, but I did find some other fun things I thought would interest you guys. So I'm gonna do a Starbucks haul. At first, your walnut was gonna bake pumpkin bread, but then I realized that James Charles would not waste his time doing that. So instead, I went to Starbucks and I got all the pastries. A brownie, a Belgian waffle with all the bells and whistles. It has all the little crystal pieces in it. And a croissant, a ham and cheese croissant. It's not like regular croissants, it's special. And also, I got this balsamic mozzarella and tomato bagel. I'm, I realize why this didn't come to the American market yet. I ate it, it was scrumptious. Put some more, don't be shy, give me some more pastries. And then I realized it was finally time to shop like James Charles and turn into a real LA influencer. My first outfit is a full jean look. I've seen James Charles in so many assless chaps, so many jean looks, so many matching sets. I don't know where they get these. I swear to God, I think they're like custom made. I scoured the internet to find outfits like these LA influencers and this was the closest I can find. Also, I almost nailed sexy, except then I realized I didn't shave my armpits. So don't worry, I'm humble. I also tried to do like really cool Shakira dance hip moves, um, which I think turned out okay, but don't worry, I still can't hit the well. Like I said, humble. And if you guys do wanna check out any of these outfits or you just online shop a lot, don't forget to use Shop Tagger. It's absolutely free and it saves you a lot of money. I use Shop Tagger absolutely every time I online shop because it saves me literally hundreds of dollars. I would not be able to do these outfit videos without Shop Tagger. So what you have to do is go on your computer and then download the extension Shop Tagger. Then head to your favorite websites. You can go to Nordstrom, Princess Polly, Walmart, Target, the dollar store, and then click on the button or a slider when you see an item you like. Then once the item goes on sale or there's some kind of discount, you will get an email notification or a push notification on your phone that the item's on sale. You can save multiple items into wish lists and organize them into different categories. My favorite part is that ShopTagger scans the entire web for coupon codes and applies them automatically at checkout, which saves so much money. Finally, ShopTagger has also launched a cashback feature that helps you save money when you shop from some selected retail partners like the one I've shown here. If you guys do want to check out Shop Tagger, please click the link down below. I'm not sure if this is an ear cuff or a belly button ring or a nipple piercing, but it's cool. I also think I feel like I need a cute little denim bag, and but I don't know what shoes to wear with this. I mean, clearly I don't think slippers are like the look. So if anyone has any ideas, and for a more conservative look, like to church with your granny, you can wear these jeans and then like a white top. You know what I'm saying? Like a white, one of those like turtlenecks, a white turtleneck. And like a little blue bag, a little blue Prada bag and a little headband. And your grandma's like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. And you're like, grandma, you don't know what I do in my free time. It's look sexy on the internet, okay? Okay. <laughs> If you thought I looked badass in the last outfit, this one I just look wild in. So this is an imitation of his Coachella look with the assless chaps. I felt very angsty in this one, very angry. I kind of look like a Karen though with these little glasses. So I would call this look Gen Z Karen look. Um, but then when I took the glasses off, I thought it looked okay. This outfit just made me angry. I don't know if it was like the faux leather making me sweaty. Also, I try to do that TikTok dance where you shake your butt and my shoulders just shook the whole time. So I would like to call whoever's ever teaching me how to dance because they're not doing a good job. Also, these pants are low rise, low rise pants are back in, and so are chains. So I'm feeling very like cool and mean for some reason. How many times am I gonna flip off the camera? Like, can I do anything else except roll my eyes? I think how you dress has a big effect on how you act, and I think there is nothing more personified here than that. Like, when do I ever act like this? Who am I, Tana Mongoose? The next outfit is very much more Blair Walnuts. It is very sweet, airy, 70s vibe with a nice little hole right in between the breast. I think you're supposed to have cleavage there but mine don't touch when I'm not wearing a bra. I don't know about you guys. Let me know how your breasticles are. I really like the material of this top and how it fits and how comfortable it is. For the next outfit, I replicated his like bodycon dress situation with this patchwork dress look. It made me feel like I was in a Machine Gun Kelly music video. I felt like Megan Fox, I felt like cool, I felt like I was in the early 2000s music video and I was like just dancing and vibing and being like a rock star or whatever. 
Finally, for the last outfit, I went with the Western look and the like sets he portrays, but I didn't have $25,000 for the Dior Jordan, so you guys are just gonna have to settle for my slippers. <laughs> I'm not James Charles yet. I don't have James Charles money. Um, but I thought this outfit was pretty cute. It's pretty similar to the first one. I feel really comfortable in it. These are low-rise jeans, by the way. Who is bringing low-rise jeans back? I'm okay with it for now. At least they're not skinny low-rise jeans. Like These are more loose fits. I really like them. I think this outfit would go good with a ponytail and uh, belly button piercing and like I don't know what shoes though like the shoes are the biggest problem with these outfits I have no idea let me know how you think I did on the dressing like James Charles and like trying to dress like an influencer in LA then I had to get one of James Charles's favorite meals that he has with his favorite friend McDonald's so James Charles McDonald's order is chicken nuggets with french fries chicken wings and he guzzles all this down with salsa barbecue can't forget the coke McDonald's actually here tastes a lot different. It's not as scrumptious. There's something off about the fries. They're just not as like flavorful. They taste like just potatoes. McDonald's fries in the US have this like specific texture and taste and crunch and softness on the end. So I'm really excited to eat with you guys. This is so fun. I feel like I'm eating with so many people. Hello everyone. Don't be too loud now. There's 825,000 of you. <laughs> I put my hair up because I have a business meeting in like 20 minutes. Every time I have a meeting, I have to have my hair up. I'm like Violet Beauregard, but stupider. So I also put my bangs like, like this. This is me in a meeting. <laughs> Another cool thing I got that I haven't seen is this McWrap thing. I don't remember them having this in America. So I was like, let's just get it. And there's like a cool way to open this. They have like instructions in the back. He doesn't eat this, but I thought it would be like fun to show you what's in McDonald's and other countries. So you unwrap it. If this is in America, I look so dumb right now, but okay. And then you go like this. Wow, we are all so impressed. Cool. Here's what it, oh. Mm. So McDonald's is actually really expensive here. It's more expensive than just eating at like a local restaurant or even eating on a restaurant on like the main street. Also, they always bring soft drinks with no ice. It says cold coke, but no ice. Look, there's nothing. They hate ice here. Like if you go to a restaurant and you ask for ice, you'll get a singular ice cube. And you're like, thank you. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm not really sure how James eats this and then is okay. I'm gonna try to see if he eats any kind of vegetables or fruits. Your search, James Charles eating a salad yields no results. Please try again later. This is me eating the McDonald's. It was very good. Let's talk about these. So I saw that James Charles likes hot wings and like all sorts of fried chicken. So I got fried chicken wings from McDonald's. What is this? What the fuck is this? Wait. And then she took back everything she ever said. They're actually better than the McNuggets. Wow. They're really flavorful. Their outside's really crispy. The meat is really juicy. They're salty and spicy. Mmm. I would never post a James Charles video without doing some James Charles makeup like some of these looks he's famous for. So I'm trying to do my makeup like Doja Cat, except I started with a heavy amount of sunscreen. Um, yeah, I'm trying to put on a lot of sunscreen so I can avoid Botox for as long as possible. Um, because as we can see with my previous plastic surgery experiences, for some reason they all happen to go wrong. My lip filler botched, boob job falling off. Like, can someone please explain to me why I have, like, the worst look of plastic surgery? I don't know why I picked such a difficult look. I just, literally, what was the reason? Oh my god, look at this. She's so beautiful. Like, this is, this is never gonna happen for me. <laughs> Pretty sure James Charles doesn't hold his clients' heads violently. <laughs> In real life versus with the studio lights, like I don't have any artificial lighting right now, so it looks really harsh and like I have a lot of makeup on. When you put on a big ring light, like you're filming a TikTok or just like a YouTube video, the light really blows out everything, so you have to put on a lot more makeup to it for it to look like actually there. But in real life, I feel like I'm already wearing a lot of makeup. It's the blotchiness for me. But we're gonna keep going because I wanna look like this. Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster. Like, I can already feel this, like... I need to take a makeup class. When this is all over... Like, he went in here with it. Okay, so this is the look so far. I think it's going really good. Thank you. That's 
pretend this didn't happen. If you guys don't tell anybody, I won't either. I think the saddest part about all this is is that I'm really actually trying. Like, this is pathetic. I deepened the inner corner and then I did something no person should ever do during a makeup thing. They, I licked the brush. I licked the brush. I could have stuck it in my cup of water, but I licked the brush. I licked the brush. When you have hooded eyes and you do lines, they immediately just get thicker. Once upon a time, there was a very pathetic, sad walnut, and she tried to do her makeup like Doja Cat, and Doja Cat, the dear princess of the world, thought it was the funniest, most pathetic thing she's ever seen, and thus concludes the story as to why Blair Walnuts is not a makeup artist. Okay, so obviously I took pictures with my really good makeup look, better than James's, and obviously to be like James Charles, I have to facetune the shit out of it. So I'm going to try to facetune one of my pictures according to his facetune tutorial. I have like a lot of favorites. I don't know which one to go with. Um, probably this one because I feel like it's just going to be the easiest. I have no problem with facetune. I just tell you guys I facetune all the time because I don't want you to have unrealistic expectations of how you're supposed to look. But I do think like as in youtube person influencer i have to make my photos look more professional so they get more likes so i get better engagement because that's part of my job so like i like have to because i'm not born perfect now we're gonna go here and paint and this is like my favorite thing to do it's not really like editing but it's just like adding glitter to like the inside of your eye i think it makes you look so pretty yeah I would, how, can you wax your hairs and face tune too? Like, can I pluck my eyebrows and face tune? That's what I want to know. Anyway, so I followed his face tune tutorial. I'll link it down in the description box if you guys want to go watch it. The most shocking and interesting part is the nose contour. I think he does amazing at it. Also, why am I bothering putting on makeup when I could literally just face tune it on? I feel like this is so much faster and easier. This is the before and after. What do you guys think? Let me know your honest thoughts. Okay, time for dinner. So for dinner, I saw that James Charles' assistant made him avocado toast and bacon. So I had avocado toast and honestly, it wasn't filling. In conclusion, living like James made me feel very glamorous, but I have two things I want to say. James, please eat more vegetables. I'm going to be constipated. And two, how do you get your butt so smooth? I just shaved mine and I got zits everywhere. So, okay, bye. <laughs>